In industrial automation, both Programmable Logic Controllers PLC, and Distributed Control Systems DCS, play pivotal roles in managing and controlling complex processes. However, these two technologies differ significantly in their architectures, applications, and capabilities. Let's find out the distinctive features that set PLC and DCS apart. PLC is a single entity designed to control one machine or a process. Whereas, DCS is a complete system distributed over a large network designed to control entire plants, buildings, or processes. PLC comes in various sizes and capabilities, capable of handling tens of hundreds of digital inputs and outputs, and few tens of analog IOs, through expansion modules and network connection. DCS can support IOs multiple times than PLC. It can easily handle hundreds of thousands of digital IOs or even thousands of analog IOs and PID functions. PLC can be programmed based on our application. Mostly ladder logic is used to program the PLC. DCS comes with built-in control functions that need to be configured according to its various uses. The response time of PLC is one-tenth of a second. It means PLC is faster than DCS. DCS is slower than PLCs. The typical response time of DCS is 30 milliseconds. PLCs have a simple and flexible architecture. A PLC system consists of CPU, I.O. modules, expansion modules, HMIs, and engineering software. DCS systems are less flexible. They come with multiple controllers, I.O. systems, database servers, engineering, and operating servers. Based on application, the PLCs are designed for controlling machines such as a lathe machine, in which the PLC handles the operation of a single machine. The DCS control the complete process like a car manufacturing factory, where multiple machine operations are to be handled at various locations. Cost-wise, the PLC is cheaper than DCS. I hope you understand the basic differences between PLC and DCS. For more interesting videos, stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe.